Hi guys, Dave here from Wolf in the Wilds, and something kind of neat happened practically overnight. Winter time started, which I suppose means I'm not really dressed quite right. One second. That's better. Oh. Now, before I get to the proper video, there's something I want to share with you guys that is, it's kind of important to me. <laughs> so it's early December and uh, a special day just passed for me very very recently and uh, it all more or less started off just over a year ago when I quit smoking I haven't had a cigarette since not not a puff not nothing um, didn't even want one. I quit eating fast food. I started to try to lose weight, get more exercise. And uh, over the course of this year, I have gotten rid of all of the negativity in my life. And that is a very big part of this video. Uh, and that's why we're here, so that I can talk to you guys about that. But first, I've had this in my fridge for like eight months. Mead. Mm-mm-mm need just open first time it's been open mm -mm -mm. so to a fairly decent year to my successes and uh, to my victories. Mm. Got a piece of bark in it already. Oh, that's so good. Uh, this is my treat for uh, quitting smoking, for giving up fast food, for giving up the negativity. And I'm sure as some of you know, I have, I've lost about 20 pounds. Um, that has fluctuated here and there. Um, but I, I was about 125, I'm now 205. I was as low as 200, um, but, uh, eh, you know, what can I say? Cake tastes a lot better than thin, thin feels, all right? Sorry. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's have a seat and get into this video. All right, so, as I was saying, um, some of you may know, um, I've, I have lost a fair bit of weight. Um, for the long and short of it, I mean, you know, one of those sticks of butter, well, I lost 20 of those. So, not bad. And, you know, I'm still working on it. I also got a promotion and a raise at work. Um, I'm feeling better. I'm happier. Everything is coming up wolf man everything is just coming up dave there's there's no two ways around it i'm just loving life so much right now and 
you know, I've got, I've got so much on the horizon. It's great. And that's what ties into part one of this video. So this is a continuation of my bugging out series. I'm sure you know by the title, I'm sure. Um, first of all, positive mental attitude. Okay. Keeping your chin up is more than just take a look around. It's maintaining a positive attitude. If you're in a bug out situation and you're wandering somewhere, you're looking for a suitable campsite with, you know, water materials, you know, kind of whatever, and you're kind of moping and your face is on the ground, you're going to get lost. And that's never a good idea. You know, you, you always want to have a basic idea of where you are so that you know where you're going. So a positive mental attitude is the first key to going into a survival situation. You'll accomplish so much more, so much more, if you just keep your spirits up. Oh, I love that stuff so much. Oh, I gotta be careful too. And guys, I, I honestly, I don't drink that much. I like four, six times a year, you know. Um, well, I mean, you know, it all depends. I mean, I, I might have a beer with somebody on a camp trip uh, or a couple of beer. Um, I might have a few drinks with my brothers during, you know, like the May 2-4 weekend or you know, something along that line, the, the Victoria Day weekend, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, kind of whatever. Um, and, you know, maybe on my birthday. Um, I don't generally drink much more than that, uh, which is why I have to be careful of that mead, because it's just so good. <laughs> I'll drink a lot, and, and I won't lose weight on, because it's, it's made out of honey, it's very sweet. So, um, maybe part of the reason why I got so big in the first place, because when, uh, when I started buying it, I, I went a little overboard on it for a little bit. Um, so yeah, you know, and look, here I am rambling, but you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm in the woods. It's a beautiful day. Um, I, I just got my, my suit and I'm not really wearing very much on it, like a t-shirt and a pair of pants, um, and two pairs of socks and my boots. Uh, you know, one pair is a regular pair of socks, one pair is thermal. So this is st me starting to test out uh, how well this is going to keep me warm. And it's like minus 13 degrees Celsius or something like that right now. So it's not even really all that cold. Um, but this thing is keeping me warm. It's keeping me really warm. So one of the treats I bought myself when, uh, when I got my... I think it was my last paycheck, actually, because, uh, you know, I mean, with my promotion and raise, um, everything, I got caught up on everything, and, uh, you know, now I could kind of spoil myself a little bit, and uh, it's kind of important, too. Um, you know, it's it's not just about getting, you know, the gear to, to get out into the woods or whatever. you got to spoil yourself every once in a while. That's what makes life worth living, and that's what's going to help keep you have that positive mental attitude. So make sure at least once a month you do something small to spoil yourself. It doesn't have to be a $500 snowsuit. It could be a bottle of mead. It could be a, a jigsaw puzzle, a crossword puzzle book, whatever you like. Whatever you like, but spoil yourself a little bit. That's important. So, second part of the video. Uh, situational awareness. Okay, that's the other part of keeping your chin up. Be aware of what's around you. Coming into this spot, I noticed almost immediately off over here is a bunch of hawthorn trees. I don't want to go through there, so I stopped here. Just down over here, there's a bunch of deer prints. There's also what I suspect might be coyote, but it could be dog. I, I don't know if 
a tracker can necessarily tell the difference. I can't, not really. If they're if they're similar size, then you know. I mean, there's obviously a big difference between you know like an Irish Wolfhound or uh, a Great Dane and a Coyote. <laughs> then you know the difference. But uh, all in all, so yeah, uh, deer tracks, canine tracks, hawthorn trees. Just over here is some grapevines, and that could be useful for you know various things. Just down behind the camera is uh, like a lot of uh, like old dried up goldenrod, and there's there's a river over here. I can kind of kind of hear it. I haven't been to this part here at all before, but I can kind of hear some water over here. So just by observing listening, having a look around, you know, I know that if I need to weave a basket, there's some grapevine over there, and, you know, I might be able to use some of the goldenrod stems as well. If I need water, it's down over there. If I need to set some snares or whatever, and maybe catch a deer, because you can catch, you, you can snare deer if you have the proper materials. I know to set it up over here. Just keep your wits about you, okay? I don't have too much of that, <clears throat> but um, keep uh, keep an eye out. Notice things. At first, you'll have to actively go and look, but over time, it'll start to become sort of a habit. You'll walk into the bush, and this little button on your head just snap on, and away you go. Um, so, it is a learnable skill. Um, you don't have to be like Jason Bourne or whatever, to have like this advanced awareness kind of thing or whatever. It's a skill that you can learn, you can teach yourself, oh. you just... Battery just died on me. Okay. I should have changed, I... This is the battery I used on that ride-along. Um, if you've seen that video, the last one I did, um, while I, you know, did the little ride-along video, so... charge that when I get home. Oh, so I just got this. It's even got a little compass on it. Probably doesn't work, but uh, that's uh, that's my old camera bag. And this is my new one. And I like this a lot better because it keeps you know, my batteries and my SD cards and, and just everything. This is my spare camera. Everything that, well, except for the batteries, actually. This uses AA batteries. This, um, basically, this holds everything. So, you know, I just have that. So, yeah. Isn't that neat, though? I like that little compass on the thing. Like I say, it probably didn't work, but I don't care. I like it. So, um, yeah, I was, I was, before the camera shut itself off, I was talking about... Uh, you know, learnable skill, situational awareness. It's, it's important when you're in the woods at all times, not just in a bug out situation or camping or, or whatever. Keep your chin up, okay? Positive mental attitude. Uplift your spirits, observe your surroundings, and watch what you're doing and where you're going, okay? Way too often in Muskoka, somebody will go wander off into the woods and they'll be afraid of tripping over something so they'll watch the ground the whole time and they look up and they have no idea where they are. And, you know, people get lost like that all the time. And, uh, you know, then you got a whole bunch of other people looking for them that uh, could probably be doing something they would like to do a whole lot more. But, anyway. So, that's, uh, that's my two cents. That's, that's my whole thing about keeping your chin up. Um, agree, disagree, did I forget anything? Anybody want to add something? 
That's what the comments are for. And you all know, I like it when you guys comment. I, I definitely do. It's, uh, it's, it's always nice to hear from you guys. And uh, I've been getting a lot of comments lately too. This is great. Like, I, uh, I, I don't really have that big of a channel. Uh, so I get, I get just enough comments to keep me happy, but not so many comments to keep me busy, I guess you could say, uh, which is great. Um, and, you know, I, I try to answer every one of them within a certain amount of time. Um, but, I mean, sometimes I'm a little late. I, uh, you know, I, I work Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, overnights. Um, you know, um... I'm all I'm always busy. I'm always doing something and uh it being winter time I uh I, I tend to sleep a little bit more. Uh cuz what else are you going to do a lot of the time? You know, it's it's dark all the time now. I this is the first time I've seen sunlight and probably well, I probably it's I I was out in the sun for a couple of days there, you know, but I was in a building most of the time. Uh you know, just dealing with some garbage. Um, so it's not like I wasn't even out enjoying myself. I was just dealing with some stupid garbage. Uh, but, you know, that's done and dealt with and, and whatnot now, too. And now I'm in the woods. I'm happy. And, you know, everything's great. And, uh, you know, I, that's par partially what it, I only plan to do a, uh, a video about um, situational awareness. The, uh, the positive mental attitude thing. Uh, just sort of came to me uh, while I was packing up to come do this video. Which is the great uh, kind of thing about not scripting anything. I don't script nothing. I barely even think about what I'm going to say, as I'm sure you guys know. So I can just change everything on the fly. And that's that's what's great about it. So, all right. Enough rambling. Enough, enough of my rambling. You guys have a great day. Have an awesome night. Keep your spirits up, keep your eyes peeled, keep looking around, keep your chins up. Have a good one, guys. And for anybody who wants to know, got it at Canadian Tire. Um... It's called North Trail. Minus 13 degrees Celsius. And I'm, I'm warm in this thing. So, North Trail, winter suit, hunting suit. It's got little sections in the pockets for uh, shotgun shells or eh, maybe a maybe I'll fit a 30 odd six I don't think it'll fit a 30 30 I think they'll just fall right through but um, yeah I'm nice and warm it's not that cold I'm not doing a review not until later because I have barely worn it but just in case anybody wants to know. North Trail, Canadian Tire, it was about 500 bucks. Um, yeah, Any, anywhere else that sells it, I, I have no idea. So, there you go.